Quantum is the language of the universe. All of our modern technology relies on our understanding of quantum. We've got lasers, we've got MRIs, all of modern computing. We wouldn't be where we're at if we didn't understand quantum on some level. What we do right now is we approximate the quantum because our modern computers can't simulate large quantum systems. They just break down. There's not enough bits, not enough time to perform all the operations you need to simulate a true quantum system. That's where quantum computers will come in, is they can simulate true quantum mechanics. And that's what we'll need to get to the next level in our technology. Quantum computers, indeed, are out there. They were science fiction up until, like, maybe 15 years ago, I would say. We we're doing a lot of work at Caltech, at MIT, Berkeley, Stanford. There is amazing research being done, and that has led to some of the tech giants like Google and IBM and Microsoft. They're working to build quantum computing hardware and put it on the cloud. We all have an intuition for how gravity works. You don't need to know with Newtonian mechanics or general relativity or anything like that to be able to make guesses about where a ball is going to land if you throw it. We don't interact with quantum on a tangible level the way we do with gravity. And so it is very inaccessible. And there's not really a good way to improve that access except through games. Games are a really great platform to test every new technology. Everything from AI itself to particular hardware accelerations. Back in 2013, I partnered with Google and Mojang to put a mod inside of Minecraft, and we called it QCraft for quantum. And it became very popular. We went to Minecon, where we had tens of thousands of, of kids from around the world, and it was fake. Classical scripting, regular programming around it. It did not have a development that relied on quantum physics engine quantum with unitary gates underneath it. When I met Chris about a year later, I think, he had created this prototype that was actually genuinely quantum. So we spent the next year plus having weekly conversations around like, how can we create something bigger out of this? And quantum chess became the foundation for all these other things that it has done since then. A bigger collaboration even with Google, where he put quantum chess on quantum computing. This is the first time that like commercial grade game has been played on a quantum computer. There are a lot of tools to build games out there right now. You've got Unreal and Unity and all these game engines and they all have physics built into them. So the game developers don't need to worry about gravity and friction and collisions and things like that. So you can work on designing the gameplay, not writing a gravitational simulator. I wanted to do the same thing for quantum. So I started taking all of the lessons I learned building quantum chess, a lot of the code, all of the math, the quantum simulator at its core, and pulled it out, made it abstract, turned it into its own quantum engine to run games. And I've been building tools around that so that a game designer, a game developer, can start putting quantum in their games now, plug a game object into your game, slap a script on it that is a quantum property, and now that thing can exist in superposition. And then you can build your gameplay around that. You don't have to worry about the math underneath. We're opening a whole new world of possibility in game mechanics design, in creating human experience that are truly quantum in nature. We still don't know how to convey the richness of information available in a quantum state to a player. There's just too much there, and so you have to make decisions about what is relevant to the player's experience. If you've got a player that's existing in two places at once, are they hearing two different things at the same time? Are they seeing two different things at the same time? Every aspect of game design and development will be touched by this. That SDK allows you to basically simulate fully a quantum computer, a universal quantum computer. You can actually, while you're playing even quantum chess, you're basically running underlying the physics engine level. You're running quantum computations that you can actually run on quantum computers. And that's why this SDK is so powerful. It'll start building intuition, not just for the next generation of quantum engineers, but for the next generation of 
game developers. Tennis for two, Pong, those are all ballistic simulations and people just wanna have fun and play games. So it's a tangible, real avenue and aspect for people to get immersive in entertainment, to be able to communicate with each other, to have all this, this new human interaction. It's positive, it's great. I'm really excited to see what people are gonna do in the realm of game design, art, UX, every possible role set within traditional game development is gonna be flipped on its head to approach this new field. It's a whole new realm of possibilities. Quantum Realm Games is partnering with leaders in science and engineering from Caltech and leaders in art and design from LCAD and bringing them together in the world of games and hosting a Quantum Game Jam, the first of its kind, where this SDK will be made available to design and develop games that are quantum in nature. It's really nice to see the creativity of students in art and design from LCAD and some of my own students at Caltech and game industry come together to build like the very first set of prototypes of quantum games. For this game jam, you don't need a PhD in quantum physics. The only entrance fee that you need is your curiosity. So if you want to be part of the next generation of game developers and you want to forge that legacy in this industry, this is it.